Things are very different in America these days as we battle the coronavirus pandemic. Public schools across the country have been closed through the end of the school year. Millions of parents are now being forced to work at home as they take care of their kids. Many other workers have been furloughed or laid off as hard-hit businesses are closing temporarily. Some, unfortunately, may be closing for good. In these uncertain times, entrepreneurship is more important than ever before. Independent contractors and micro-businesses are already providing invaluable services as we confront both a public health crisis and an economic crisis. Every day, critical services are being provided by foreign language translators, sign language interpreters, independent health professionals, and those who deliver meals and groceries to people who can't leave their homes. With unemployment rapidly rising, the ability to earn a living from home can help millions who are now unemployed seek new opportunities to earn money and provide for their families. As PRI's Dr. Wayne Weingarten writes in the Breaking Down Barriers to Opportunity series, one of the most important ways elected officials can help lift people economically through tough times like these is by adopting policies that encourage entrepreneurship. Unfortunately, state and federal policymakers have gone the other direction, making it much harder to work from home or start a business. Policies like expensive $15 per hour minimum wage mandates, costly and burdensome occupational licensing requirements, broken workers' compensation systems, and harmful laws like California's AB5 that determine who is an employee and who is an independent contractor make it much harder for people to earn a living and hire people who are out of work. Now more than ever, with millions of people out of work and looking for new ways to provide for their families, state and federal officials must act to either reform, repeal, or set aside temporarily these misguided laws. And during this economic crisis, state government should repeal filing and registration fees to make it more affordable for someone who just lost their job to start a new business out of their home and earn a living. People are struggling, trying to stay well and stay safe during the coronavirus pandemic. Government shouldn't add to the problem by making it harder for them to stay afloat financially. To learn more about reforms to encourage entrepreneurship and help people earn a living, download the Breaking Down Barriers to Opportunities series today at pacificresearch.org.